What's up guys? This is Evans from Ulysses Marketing. How are you doing? Today I'll teach you interest targeting when product testing. My interest targeting strategies are the complete opposite of what other people teach you. I'm not saying that their targeting methods don't work, but they mainly work for people with lost testing daily budgets. With my targeting strategy, you only need $25 and only one day to test products. For example, let's say you wanted to test this boxing product and you were thinking about targeting big interests like boxing or famous boxers like Floyd Mayweather. This is the problem. A lot of people in the Floyd Mayweather interest do not like him and left a lot of negative comments. They end up in the Floyd Mayweather interest because they left a negative comment. Another problem is, even if people like watching boxing and they like Floyd Mayweather, they can like boxing enough to watch it, but not enough to buy boxing products. So if you decided to promote this boxing product and target the interest Floyd Mayweather or the boxing interest, you can't be too surprised if you don't get any sales. Because if you go to your audience insights and you type in Floyd Mayweather and you click on page likes and you can look at your top category section, you don't really see anything boxing related in that section. If you go down to the pages like section, and you look at the top 10 pages liked by people who like Floyd Mayweather, none of the pages are related to boxing except for one. The same thing happens when you delete the Floyd Mayweather interest and you type in the boxing interest. For product testing, use smaller, more specific interests. To find these interests, Google top blank magazines or top blank brands or blank celebrities or best blank forums or blank shows. There's more, but we start with that. Let's use the boxing example and type in top boxing magazines. The ring magazine pops up first, so we'll go back to audience insights and type it in. But first, when using audience insights, look for these qualifications. I do most of my product testing in the United States. Make sure you change the age to 25 and over. For gender, this is optional. You can change it depending on the product. In this case, we are promoting a boxing product. I think mostly men would be interested in this boxing product. So I'm going to pick men. Before you enter in your interest, make sure you delete any other interest that may be there. So delete boxing. Enter in the interest that we found on Google. The Ring Magazine. Okay, the Ring Magazine passes the first qualification. It has more than 50,000 and less than 300,000 monthly active people. Click on the page likes tab. Look at the top category section. Most of the top category section is related to boxing. If you go down to page likes and you look at the first 10 fan pages, the top 10 fan pages is related to boxing as well. Lastly, the infinity scores for the top 10 fan pages are all over 1000. This bonus step is optional but is a very good sign. Now go down to the bottom, click see more until you reach 100 fan pages. 90, one more time, 100. Now scroll back up. I will now use a Chrome extension called Copy Tables. Select page. Right click, go down to tables, click select column, right click again, go down to table, select copy, 
and paste it into a Word document or notepad. I then look at the list of fan pages and begin to copy and paste the ones that are related to boxing into audience insights so that you can find the fan pages that you can use as interest for running Facebook ads. First, make sure you delete any other interest. Now paste the fan page you want to check. Nothing shows up when you enter the fan page, so that means it's not an interest that you can target. You keep doing this until you do find one that is a targetable interest. Okay, great. Ring side boxing is a Facebook fan page that is a targetable interest, but the size of the active monthly people is 10K, so it's too small. Keep going until you find qualified interest. Okay, good. Andre Ward is a boxer that can be targeted. Now make sure it has all the qualifications I listed earlier. Add it to the Excel file if it does. In this case, it does. To speed things up, I'm going to use a software that lets me know what fan pages are actual Facebook interests. That way, I don't have to keep copying and pasting just to find out if a Facebook fan page can be targeted in Facebook ads. If you do come across an interest that is bigger than 300,000, copy and paste those into a separate column in your Excel file. Once you have a good list of interests, open up a separate brand new tab of Audience Insights and begin to copy and paste all the interests on your list. I do this to make sure I have at least a total of 1 million active monthly people before I start running ads. Make sure it adds up to a total of at least 1 million active monthly people. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you need the Microsoft Excel interest template, let me know and I'll message it to you. This is targeting method number one. I use this method to see if a product is qualified for a full product test. See you in the next video.